This technique is as old as art itself, but it's still used today in everything from classical music to chart-topping pop hits. It's used by beginners and masters of their craft. Some say it's driven by our desire for nostalgia, easy success, or relatability. What could this mysterious technique be? It's pastiche, and today we will be talking about what it is and how it's used in music. Pastiche began as a literary technique to make something new and an old style. The artist imitates the style of someone else or a specific genre of works to create a new work. The word pastiche came from the Italian noun pastico, which is pie filling mixed from a multitude of ingredients. The use of someone else's style allows the artist to use the references and context of the assumed style in their own work. Musical pastiche works in the same way that literary pastiche does, by a composer utilizing someone else's style to be able to assume the context and associations from that assumed style. It builds bridges between musical traditions in a way no other technique can. The pastiche of Turkish Janissary music was in vogue in the 18th and 19th centuries as a way to create an aura of the exotic in musical scores. Janissary music came from the Turkish military establishment of royal bodyguards called Janissaries. They were disbanded in 1826, but before then, they were a strong political force in the Ottoman Empire. Their music used the bass drum, triangle, and cymbals to great effect in military marches. <laughs> Many composers imitated the style of Janissary bands, including Mozart in his Adduction from the Seraglio, where he used it to paint the scenes of the exotic Ottoman Empire, or at least exotic to the audiences of Vienna, where it was premiered. Other works that invoke the Ottoman Empire through a la Turca genre are the final movement of Joseph Haydn's Military Symphony No. 100, the final movement of Mozart's Piano Sonata in A Major, and the Turkish March from Ludwig von Beethoven's Incidental Music to the Ruins of Athens, and the tenor solo Fro V Sein Son and Fleen Again, Joyful as Flies the Sun, from the finale of Beethoven's Ninth Symphony in D Minor. Let's take a look at the section of Beethoven's Ninth Symphony with the Janissary Band. You can hear the pastiche of the military band in the percussion in the segment. The bass drum, cymbals, and triangle make their very first appearance in the symphony, and it accompanies a march-like variant of the Freude Freude tune heard earlier in the movement. The trumpets herald a, with small interjections, and the bassoons are playing with the bass drum. It can be seen as Beethoven having the joy of the Freude theme invade like an army into the movement. Pastiche can be found in musical theater as well. In Stephen Sondheim's Follies, it is the primary driver of the composition. The musical is about the reunion of Weissman's Follies, a musical review based on the Ziegfeld Follies that played in between the two world wars. In his book, Finishing the Hat, Sondheim details how he used pastiche to imitate the style of musical theater in the 20s and the 30s. He directly links tunes from the show to their pastiche counterparts, like the number Ah Paris, as a pastiche of Cold Porter's I've a shooting box in Scotland. I've a shooting box in Scotland. I've a chateau in a terrain. I've a silly little chalet in the Interlaken Valley. I've a hacienda in Spain. I've a private yard in Norway. I've a villa close to Rome. And in traveling, it's really quite a comfort to know that you're never far from home. Now it's really very funny What an awful lot of money On exorbitant hotels that chap can squander As you can see, the Cold Porter is a world-weary list song about how the singer has chalets across the world. The verse is all in monotone, almost encouraging the singer to speak, sing through it, using their acting skills to tell a story. The melody of the chorus is wide, crossing the bar lines with held notes, almost shimmering with the bragging that is going on. The accompaniment follows the voice, but also has an oompa pattern, giving the whole song a feeling of forward motion.
Sondheim's pastiche, I've a shooting box of Scotland, is a Paris. The number comes early in the musical as we are introduced to the main characters through a medley of reminiscing. Framed by Rain on the Roof and Broadway Baby, singer Solange Lafitte tries to impress everyone that she's still fashionable at her claimed age of 66. New York has neon, Berlin has bars, but a very Shanghai has silk and Madrid guitars. But a very in Cairo you find bizarre bazaars. In London you dip you sip tea. But when it comes to love, none of the above compares. Complete. So if it's making love that you're thinking of, ha 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 Sondheim skips the verse and goes right onto the chorus. It is another world-weary song talking about the great cities of the world. The me melody is again wide-ranging, full of the bragging that is going on. The accompaniment has the same oompa pattern as the Cole Porter song, driving the chorus onward. What other similarities do you hear? Tell me in the comments. Pastiche is not just used in classical music and musical theater, it's also used today in pop songs that you love. Aaron Gervais, in his article, Why Pastiche Has Taken Over Music, argues that pastiche and pop music comes from the desire to hear things that are familiar to the ear. Pop artists like creating music that has a sonic reference to something else, of, to avoid sounding too new and potentially losing streams over it. Whether or not that's true is up for debate. Let me know in the comments. But it's an indisputable fact that pop music loves pastiche. Let's take a look at one song, Robin Thicke's and Farrell's Blurred Lines, which mirrors the swing and texture to Marvin Gaye's 1977 hit, Got to Give It Up, so closely that it recently lost a highly publicized lawsuit to Gaye's family over the question of originality. Let's hear Got to Give It Up. Gay has a funky sound going on with a prominent bass line outlining the chord progression, a rhythm on the cowbell, and Gay's iconic treble voice soaring over it all. The crowd in the background adds whoops and hollers as interjections between Gay's statements. Let's hear blurred lines. If you can't hear what I'm trying to say. You can hear the funk pastiche in the bass line with its disco octave leaps and then the polyrhythms of the cowbell throughout the whole song. Robin Thicke's voice soars above the rhythms in a higher octave than most pop music singers. And an unnamed crowd is interjecting whoops and hollers in between statements. While not a carbon copy, it's a very good stylistic pastiche of gay song. So pastiche is not just for the olds, but is a recognized compositional technique for everyone. Pastiche allows you to interact and dialogue with a composer of the past while putting a novel spin on an older work style. It allows you to use the associations attributed to the older music and place your music in canon with the past. Instead of thinking about pastiche as parody or copying, it can be thought of as a way to make the past come alive. Thank you for joining me at this look at pastiche. So what do you want to learn about next? Leave me a comment down below. I'm on Patreon and all donations go to creating content like this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing so you don't miss any videos that I post on the channel. You can also hit the notification bell to be notified of every upload. You can find every work I used in my bibliography posted to my website, dominiqueroyam.com. Thank you so much and see you in my next video and associations from that assumed style. F*** it, cat. Outtakes are good. All right. <laughs> My German was terrible. Fliegen. Fliegen? So, the rest was actually pretty good. Uh, Fro, V, Sina, Sonnen, Fliegen. We're gonna have to do that one again. Fliegen? Fliegen! You're adding an N. It's, it's German, it's phonetic within its spelling. Okay. Fliegen. 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 Fliegen.
Fliegen, 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 Sonnen, Fliegen. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, you're rocking the boat. <laughs>